Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we ran hybrid configuration wizard and we configured Exchange Hybrid between on-premise Exchange and Exchange Online. In this particular video, we will be discussing Exchange Hybrid migration process. We will understand how exactly mailbox migration process works in Exchange Hybrid. We will discuss what services are responsible to migrate a mailbox and what is the background process or what happens in the background when you migrate a mailbox from on-premise to Office 365 in Exchange Hybrid deployment. An Exchange Hybrid deployment is performed between on-premise Exchange Server and Exchange Online. And the tool or the application that is used to deploy Exchange Hybrid is called Hybrid Configuration Wizard. In Exchange Hybrid deployment, you can perform two types of migrations. Onboard migration, that is also called onboarding, and offboard migration, that is also called offboarding. Onboard migration is when you migrate an on-premise mailbox to Exchange Online. And offboard migration is when you move an already migrated mailbox back to the on-premise. Whether you do onboard migration or offboard migration, both types of migrations are handled by Exchange Online. If you do onboard migration, on premise data is pulled from on premise to Exchange Online. And if you do offboarding, data is pushed from Exchange Online to on premise Exchange Server. So, in both cases, Exchange Online is the one that handles this migration process. Hybrid migration is also called remote move. When we talked about cutover migration in one of the previous videos, we discussed that in case of cutover migration, a user has two mailboxes at the same time. One that is the actual mailbox in on-premise and the other one that is being provisioned in Exchange Online during cutover migration. But in Exchange Hybrid, a user has one mailbox during the entire hybrid migration process. In Exchange Hybrid, the contents of the mailboxes are moved from on-premise Exchange to Exchange Online. And if you are doing offboarding, then mailbox contents will be moved from Exchange Online to Exchange On-Premise. But at the same time, a user will have only one mailbox either in On-Premise or in Exchange Online. There are few components and services those play an important role in Exchange Hybrid Remote Move. These components are Microsoft Exchange Mailbox Replication Service or MRS, Migration Service, Migration Arbitration Mailbox, and System Mailbox. Mailbox Replication Service is responsible for processing all types of move requests, be it local move or remote move. MRS Proxy is responsible for sync request if you are running IMAP migration. Merge request if you are doing cutover or staged migration. Mailbox import request that is Office 365 PST import service. Public folder migration request and mailbox restore request. All these requests are processed by mailbox replication service. This mailbox replication service is available in both on-premise and exchange online. The next component of hybrid migration is migration service. Migration service is available in both Exchange Online and on-premise Exchange Server. When you run a migration batch, migration service initiates few PowerShell commands. For example, new hyphen move request in case of hybrid migration, new hyphen sync request if you are running IMAP migration, and new hyphen merge request in case you are running cutover or staged migration. The next component of hybrid migration is migration arbitration mailbox. This mailbox stores the information about migration objects. For example, migration endpoints, migration users, and migration batches. If you want to verify this mailbox, connect to Exchange Online PowerShell and run get-mailbox-migration in Exchange Online PowerShell. And the fourth component of Exchange Hybrid Migration is System Mailbox. This mailbox stores the information like move request, move reports, 
and the sync status of the move request. So whenever you verify migration status or migration reports from Exchange Admin Center or from PowerShell, you get all the information from these components. In Exchange Hybrid Migration, we always have one doubt. One should be assigned Exchange Online licenses to the mail user accounts before migration or once migration is completed. To understand this concept, let's consider one example. When we create a mailbox in on-premise Exchange server, an associated account is created for that mailbox in Active Directory. And few Exchange attributes are automatically stamped with that user account in Active Directory. For example, Exchange GUID, recipient type detail, and recipient display type. We know Azure AD Connect is a prerequisite for Exchange Hybrid. Azure AD Connect is used to synchronize on-premise identities to Office 365. And this is also important to know that before you start migration in Exchange Hybrid deployment, you need to synchronize on-premise identities to Office 365. In Exchange Hybrid deployment, all on-premise mailboxes are synchronized to Office 365 as mail-enabled mail users. Now, when this user will be synchronized to Office 365, the on-premise attributes will also get synchronized. So Exchange Online will check the Exchange Quid value that is associated with this account, and Exchange Online will consider that this account already has a mailbox because this user account has an Exchange Quid value associated. Now, if you will assign a license to this mail user in Office 365, this will not provision another mailbox for this account in Exchange Online. Because in Exchange Hybrid, one user can have only one mailbox, either in on-premise or Exchange Online. So when you will assign Exchange Online license to this user, and if you go to Mail Settings tab in Office 365 Admin Center, you will see an error. This user's on-premise mailbox hasn't been migrated to Exchange Online. The Exchange Online mailbox will be available after migration is completed. Microsoft recommends to assign Exchange Online license to the mail user once migration is completed. In Exchange Hybrid migration, you should never assign a license to the mail user account before migration. When a mailbox is migrated from on-premise to Office 365, the mailbox contents are preserved in Microsoft data centers for 30 days. So that means you have 30 days to assign license to the mail user account once migration is completed. And once you will assign license to the user, a mailbox will be provisioned for that user in Exchange Online. And for any reason, if you do not assign license in 30 days after migration is completed, the mailbox contents will be purged from Microsoft servers and you will not be able to recover those contents. So whenever you are performing Exchange Hybrid migration, assign the license once migration is completed. Now let's understand what happens in the background when we perform a move request in Exchange Hybrid deployment. When we start a migration batch, a PowerShell command new hyphen migration batch is initiated at the background. If you initiate migration from PowerShell command using new hyphen move request, in that case, the same command will be initiated in the background. At this point, the move request status will show as queued. That means the migration request is in the queue. In step two, Exchange Online Mailbox Replication Service or MRS communicates with MRS service that is running on the on-premise Exchange server. The Mailbox Replication Service in Exchange Online pulls the mailbox data from the on-premise mailbox server, and it moves the data to the mail-enabled mail user in Exchange Online. At this point, migration status will be in progress. When the move request is 95% completed, the on-premise mailbox replication service locks the on-premise mailbox till the final synchronization is completed. At this point of time, the move request status is still in progress. In step four, Exchange Online Mailbox Replication Service converts the mail-enabled mail user to a mailbox. 
and in on premise mailbox replication service converts the mailbox to mail enabled remote mailbox and the actual on premise mailbox is soft deleted and the move request status shows completed in step 5 the administrator deletes the migration batch from exchange online and the move request information is cleared from active directory and from the system mailbox so this is how move request works in exchange hybrid in the next video we will migrate on premise mailboxes to office 365 using hybrid migration we will understand the flow of exchange hybrid migration and we will migrate the on premise users to office 365 using remote move so that is all for now i will see you all in the next video thank you guys thank you for your time take care